All right, so now let's talk about switching between open applications. Now there are multiple ways that you can do this. Of course, down in the taskbar here, you can see the apps that are running. Uh, you can tell the difference between a pinned app and a running app basically by if it has a line underneath it, it is running. If it does not, it is just one that's pinned. So to show you the difference, let me go ahead and pin this to the taskbar. So these two are running, and you can tell because they have that line under them, whereas the Xbox app does not. So if you're running an app in full screen, let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. So this is running in full screen. If I want to switch to another app, all I have to do is just click on the taskbar icon, and that's going to be brought to the front. And then clicking on the settings app, of course, that's going to be brought to the front as well. Now, if you have multiple applications open and your screen is getting a little bit cluttered, there are two ways that you can clean things up so that it's easier to use the application that's currently in the forefront. First of all, you could maximize the window so that it takes up the entire area of your Windows screen. The second thing you can do, which is kind of interesting, is you can go ahead and grab onto the title bar of that window and then shake it and then all the other apps will minimize. So it's not a very well known or used feature, but that is something that you can do. Now, in addition, you have something in Windows 10 called Snap Assist. If you grab a window by the title bar and then slide it over to one side and then release your mouse cursor, it will show you the other apps that are open. And all you have to do is click on that application and it will fill in the remaining space. Okay, in addition to that, you can also press the Alt key and then press the Tab key, and this will cycle you between the different apps that are open. So you can push Alt and then Tab, repeat that uh, press of Tab to cycle going this way through those apps. And then if you have a lot of apps, you can also use your arrow keys to cycle through them that way. So that could turn out to be a little bit faster if you wanted to move backwards. So that is another way that you can do that. Now you can also press the Windows key and then tab and that will take you into this sort of expose mode. It takes you into what, what Microsoft is calling task view. If you come from a Mac, this is very similar to what Mac calls the uh, expose or the um, control view. So once you're in this view, all you have to do is click on the app that you want to have open and then it, it will take you right to that application. Now another feature that is new to this build of Windows 10 in this insider preview is right here. When I resize a snapped window, simultaneously resize any adjacent snapped window. So what that's talking about here is these two applications are snapped. If I have this turned off, when I resize the settings window, it just goes right over the top of the Outlook calendar application. Now you can also resize apps by snapping them into the corner. So that's another option that you have there. Now, depending on the size of your screen, this may not make a whole lot of sense to do, but the option is there for you nonetheless. If at any point you just want to minimize all of the windows so you can see your desktop and kind of get a clear picture of what's going on, you can bring your mouse cursor down to the bottom right corner and then click, and it's going to minimize all of the open windows. So that is multitasking.